Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at book number five in the Land of Morning Light Eyes of Adventure questline series here. For those of you that don't know what this is, it's an adventure log bookshelf book series that will provide you with one DP, a bunch of stamina, some furniture for your house, and whatnot. I've already got a video playlist started with this, with a couple of the books already in it, so if you want to skip around or jump to any different sections of these, make sure to follow the playlist. Like I said, today's video we're going to be covering book five, which can loosely be translated to like, I want you all to like quit playing Black Desert. So I hope you're ready and have a lot of patience right now because you're going to need it. Quickly before we get into it though, if you're new to my channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on this channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps to grow my channel, you stay up to date with new content and we both win and without further ado, let's get into it and start off with book number five. So if you played Diablo 4, which like just came out recently, you'll remember the Altar of Lilith Hunt that was a lot of fun. Now you get to do it in Black Desert. Spread across the Land of Morning Light, this whole region, there's random boxes that you have to click on. BDO Codex has a map of all of them, so if you want to find where they all are, this, this website here has a map of all of them. But yeah, I guess in this video I'm just going to show you going from location to location to location, clicking on all of the different boxes. And the first one we're going to do is located out here on this stupid island right here. Which means you're going to need a boat. So if you don't have a boat, you can head over to the Wharf Manager right here in Napo's Middle Village. Talk to this guy Yuan right here and buy a raft. <laughs> Fun. Fortunately, my boat's sitting out here, so we're going to take it over to that island. All right, so I am at the wharf manager on this island right here where we're going to start picking this up. And if we just jump off of our boat immediately, you will see that the first box is waiting for us right here, the Kebeba chest. Just interact with that, and that will be the first of our boxes that we need to get on this island. This island has a total of six chests, and the rest of the ones that we need to get are on this second side of the island, so head on over here. All right, so we are in the middle of this island right here, right? Um, and you can see from here there's a little village located to the side over here. Go up into this little village and behind one of these houses right here, you should see another chest. So interact with that one to get the knowledge of that chest. Next, we're gonna work our way across this bridge that's over here. So just keep making your way through here. You'll see a rickety old bridge. Head over to this bridge. All the way up at the top of this area, you will see another house. And on the front porch of the house, you'll see a chest right there to pick up. All right, so we're back in the middle-ish of this island again. So back at the middle of the island, turn around and you'll see kind of like this area here where the ledge meets the edge right here. Um, and you'll see this like little jutting up mountainy looking thing right here that's right in front of me. What you got to do is hug this ledge really tightly so that you don't fall until you get to the box that's sitting on this stupid ledge. Interact with the box there and then you've got to go swimming. Or I guess maybe you can play clever uh, movements around the rocks here and avoid going swimming. All right, back at the middle of the island again. This time we're going to head up in this general direction. So head over here. And at some point you should see a waterfall. So here's the waterfall right here. And you can see the box is right there in the middle of the waterfall. So jump and land there. Interact with the box to get that knowledge for that box. And then continue to jump your way down with the waterfall. And when you get down here, we're going to hang a right and continue to follow the coast all the way out this way until you see this little bit jutting out from here on the mini-map. So up in the mini-map up here, see my mouse wiggling? Right there is where we're headed. And once you get over here, you should see another chest hanging out underneath the water, like right here. So you can see that you can get the interaction thing without actually having to dive underwater, but if you put your camera under the water, you'll see there's the stupid box hanging out under the water right there. So again, that's on this little ledge jutting out here. You can see it kind of jutting out from there, and it's easier on the mini-map. But that's it. Those are the six boxes on this island that we have to get for now. Don't worry, we'll get to come back and get more of them later. But at this point, we can jump back on our boat and head on over to the dock instead over the next island over, Byoki Island. All right, we're starting out at the wharf manager here at the bottom of the island. And to start, we're going to go forward through the gates up ahead this way, up into the right over here and then we got this bridge and you're gonna jump off the bridge much like you probably want to right now and interact with this box that's the first one and continue along the bridge over to the right and over up this staircase right here continue to follow up further still heading up this staircase here making our way up to there when you get to this point where there's like this little fork in the road head up the big staircase here to continue making our way up and continue following the stairs further up still just keep going up as far up as it'll let you go just keep going all the way up. Again, continue going up. 
just any option that keeps netting you upwards in direction up until you get up to here when you get to that top building all the way at the top make a swing around the backside jump off the edge of this balcony and somewhere hiding in these bushes you should have something that you can interact with there it is there's the chest right there directly behind the building from here loop back around and make our way back down the mountain this time so continue to follow the path straight around and down and when you get to roughly around here you should see another couple of npcs jump over this little ledge here and what do you know another box hiding out underneath there now from under here look straight ahead and you should see a little like doorway that you can jump down through and head over to this big old island over here there's a bridge you can just take the bridge right across head on up the bridge up the stairs and when you get up to this mallet looking thing up here if you uh, turn around you should see a guy staring off the edge here and if you look where he's looking there's a chest right there so we need to carefully jump down and interact with that one the next one we need to get is over on this island like right in front of us so i hope you're ready to go for a swim so just jump into the water and splash down and make your way out to that island when you get over to this island climb your way up on top of it and sitting in the middle you should see another one of the chests so just go ahead and interact with that chest we then have two more to get back on this island so make your way back to the mainland and head back towards the dock so we're gonna head back towards the dock where we started just make your way there all right so this time from the docks we're gonna go off to the left so you should see a little waterfall here hang a hard left and head up the little staircase right in front of you here keep going forward and you should see a hut over here if you walk around to the back side of this hut you will see another one of the chests so go and interact with that one then backtrack a little bit and you should see another path that you can take up right here so go up the path this time and just follow the path around you can see the path that i'm following on the mini map here just follow it around up to the top over here and you're going to see another little pagoda you looking thing and if you go up the pagoda all the way at the end you will see another box and that is the last one we need to get on this island so from here we can head back to our boat and sail back to nampo's moodle village all right so we're back at the docks here at nampo's middle village by the wharf manager yon and the first box is literally right here in front of us so we can go ahead and interact with that one and from this one we're going to want to net over towards this general direction so you should see a little hut over here we're heading over here and when you get to this point you should see something that sort of looks like this you need to keep making your way up the mountain so work on your skyrim horse skills and uh make your way up and ultimately sitting all the way at the top of this mountain right here all the way at the top you can see we're very rarely up the top uh you'll see one of the chests here so we can pick up that one the next one we need to get to is roughly around here so we'll just place a waypoint and uh use our flying horse to get back down the mountain and right here at the stable keeper if we walk into the stable hiding with the horses you will see another one of the chests right here now the next chest is going to be up by the well over here so we'll place a waypoint on our map right there and make our way up this little ledge ramp thing here and go into the building over here and when you get up here if you look at the hut on the right side over here by the bookseller you will see another chest inside of this hut now the next chest is going to be located on this tiny little island sticking off the side of the uh, port here so we'll head over to that one and when you get onto this little rock here you're going to have to figure out a way to scale up the side of it because the chest you need is located up towards this ledge right here um, on the rock so scale your way up the rock you should see it on the ledge on your way up now the next couple that we're going to head to are located up inside of this little region right here so make your way up to this spot so for the first one up here you got this little l-shaped building over on the right let's head over to that first to make your way around and off this little ledge here you should see the box hanging out in with the shrubs so if you just walk along it you'll see there's the chest in with the shrubs head back over to the middle and if instead this time we go to the left you should see a building hanging out over here through this little gateway jump up and around this way and you got this balcony like dead ahead in front of you if you jump up on top of the balcony you could see it there for half a second it's hiding behind this pro privacy screen uh, but we can interact with it without having to go around so nice there's the two chests in this little area and those are actually the seven chests that are located in Nampu's Middle Village. So now we can move on to the chests that are kind of in the open area between locations. So what we're going to do for this next part is basically hit all of the ones that are north of Nampu's Middle Village all the way to Hanji County and out into this area over here. So we're going to hit a lot of boxes here. Again, use the chapters down below to keep track of how many you're supposed to have had so you keep up with me. But our first one we're going to go pick up is located out here in this general direction. So make your way out that way. So when you get roughly here on the road you're going to see that it kind of like loops around and you can see it looping around on your mini map um, up into the left you can see that there's a little path that you could take right here if you head up this little path when you get up here you'll see a cave and if you run inside of the cave at the end of the cave you'll see a box so make sure to pick up that one 
Now the next one we're going to go find is located right here. So find the NPCs on this little tiny little pagoda sitting on the cliff face over here. And when you land here, you should see a little like building right in front of you. In the back corner of the building is another chest. And from here, we're going to head out the front door. And then you should see a little like drop down that we can do here. Continue to make our way down. And if you go all the way down to the beach, you should be able to pull a U-turn and head back up this little ramp here and see that there's a small little cave here. Inside of this cave is an artichoke cart, but to the left of the artichoke cart, we have another one of the chests. So let's pick that one up and jump back on our horse. And from here, we're heading to this kind of like little section in the road. If you put the node map on, you can see it a little bit better, but there's a kind of like a fork in the road right there. So we're heading up to that next. And right out on the side of the road, when you get over here, you should see a small little building. And inside of this little building will be another one of those chests right there. So we can interact with that one. Bringing back up the map, we have a bridge right over here that we're going to head to next. So if we go to the bridge, it's right off the edge right here. And if you jump off the bridge, you will see that if you look under the water, there is another chest right there. In order to dive to be able to reach it, if your character is too short, you can press the Q key. Mine's tall enough, though, so I can reach the box and collect that one. Now for the next two, we're going to continue along here, and we're going to head up to this little hut right here on the road, so you should be able to see a little hut right here. Head over towards that. And from the hut, we're going to turn around and head back down the road that we came up to to get up here. And as we make our way down the road, you should see a point where you can kind of just like fall off over here. Follow this road around, you'll see a cave. And then inside of this little cave right here, you will see another box. So we can pick that one up. From here, we're going to go right across this bridge right in front of us to the next little building right there. So not much further to go. We just head around right here and you see a little boat down there to the left that we just passed by. So we can head on down to this one and you'll see a chest just sitting on the dock right there. So another pretty easy one to pick up. Now the next one we're going to go for is located right here. So we got the Hanji County. We got this little building series right here. There's the NPC Young Moon right here. So go, go ahead and find this location. And when you end up here, it'll look something like this. There's a stable keeper right there, right? Head up this little edge right here, and you'll see another one of the chests sitting right there. So another easy one to pick up. The next one, we're going to head up to this little fork in the road right here. So make your way over to this one. And for this one, you'll see this little gate structure where we have a nice little fun jumping puzzle to get up to. So you can jump around this ledge here on top of this, and then on top of this right here. And then from here, you can jump up to this ledge if you can catch it right. So I got to try again. And then when you get up here, you have to kind of get into this room where you can interact with the chest for another one of the chests picked up. From here, we're going to loop around into this main region of the village up here. So loop your way back up and around through Hanji County. So for this one, standing in the middle of this little combat ring, you should see a leader over here. You can go up over this leader around the corner and you will see underneath this little tower, there's a chest. So we can pick that one up pretty quick. And then continuing on from this chest, if we just head over the ledge right here, and walk in this direction a little bit off of the edge of one of these sides. You can jump off right here. And you should see the chest hanging out right there. I don't know if you saw it in the distance, but it's right here, um, the other chest that we need to pick up. So again, just kind of like right below where we just were a second ago. That's the tower right there. Now back in the central ring, if you look up here, we'll see the Hanji County node itself. We're gonna head over to this general area, we'll fly on over to this. And when you land over here, we have another little jumping puzzle series to go, or you can kind of just dash up the side here if you're a Musa, lol, and uh, climb over here, and you will see the chest right here. So we can interact with this chest. It's located right here again on the uh, like left side of this little jungle gym of stuff that you can interact with. Now the next one we're heading up to is going to be located right here in the middle of this like little fork in the road situation, so we'll head over this way. And when you get to this fork in the road here, you can see I'm at the fork in the road here on the minimap, head up to the left side, Head over here, where you can see my horse is parked on the minimap, and you'll see a cave. You can go inside of this cave and find another box. From here, we're going to be heading over to this little, like, waterfall-y cliff-looking area. So we are on the lower side of the waterfall right now. We're underneath the waterfall, and if you go on inside of this little area right here, you should be able to uh, go into the water, and if you put your camera underneath the water, you'll barely be able to see a chest hanging out right here. So kind of like use this as a general like reference here. The water is entering the waterfall area like right here. You got that little statue thing right there. So that's where the chest is. Pain in the butt to find that one. Next, we need to get up on top of the waterfall. So we're going to ride back around. Now, this one's a bit easier to find up here at the ledge. You see, we got a little road that goes across. But right here where the waterfall actually starts, if you head over to the middle of it, you can see it there in the distance right before you'd uh, fall off to your death. There is another one of these chests, so just gotta swim out to it and pick it up. 
Now continuing on from here, we're gonna head over to this little island sticking out in the distance, so just follow the path along. And if you make your way up to the middle, you'll see this little building right here, and underneath that little building is the chest, so pretty straightforward. Just make your way up onto the island, just follow the way that the auto path kind of generates it for you. Now the next two that we're going to go for are going to be located right over here, so we'll uh, have to make our way down to this section of the map. So right again, we're here, heading down the little river and into this general area. So these next two are located like on this little cliff edge right here, and honestly, I don't really know how you get here without a Pegasus. I guess you could like keep jumping down from the waterfall up above and kind of like do some jumping in and make your way down here, but having a Pegasus makes it way easier. Either way, we have two chests, one located right here, and then over to the left, we have another one sitting out in the waterfall area over here. And then from this one, the next one is located right here. You'll see this little like land bridge running across right here. Uh, this is the next one we need to hit. So we'll head over into that direction. And when we get around to this bridge right here, you guessed it, we're gonna jump off the bridge and underneath the bridge you'll see that there's another one of the chests so we can just go pick that one up and then from the bridge we're gonna go pretty much straight across the bridge and you will see to your right here a little bit of a clearing that you can kind of walk through so go through this clearing and you will see a cave and inside of the cave there will be another one of these stupid little chests and with that we'll have hit all of the ones north of Napu Middle Village. So all of the ones in the forest, all in this whole region right in here, those are all taken care of. 35 down, 65 to go. The next little section we're gonna work in is gonna be over here, this little Dokubi Forest area, and the first one we'll be heading to is gonna be right over here, like you see this little like little curved section here? We're going right here on that curved section. And at this point in the curved section, if you look over to the left, you should see a little hut hanging out over here, a little burned down village looking situation. And in the middle of that little burned down village situation, we have another chest. Pick that one up. Now for the next one, we're gonna head on up to the Dokubi Forest, and we're actually gonna be heading out towards the Dokubi Princess in the Dokubi Forest, so I'll meet you over there. So we're here by the Dokubi Princess, and uh, behind her is a waterfall, and you can actually walk through this waterfall. And when you get up here, you will see a shrine, and in the shrine, we have another one of the chests. So we can go ahead and pick that one up. Now for the next one, we're gonna head back over here to the Dokubi Forest node itself, so you can just click on the node, and it'll take you right to it. And at the node manager, if you look right behind them, you will see the next chest, located right here next to this pot. Now the next one we're gonna be looking for is kinda near this like mess of roads that you see like right below you, so just place a waypoint over there and make your way to that spot. All right, so we're on the upper level of this little like mesh of roads, so again, you can kinda see it on the mini map where we're at. What we wanna do is go into this cave right here. Head on into the cave, and on your left, you're gonna see like a little like cliff facey thing here right when you get in. Jump off your horse, and to your left, you should see a little ledge that you can kinda climb out on. And out here, you should see, or if you don't see it, it's understandable, uh, a box hiding out here in the shadows. So that's another one of the boxes that we need to get. From here, jump right back on your horse and continue to follow around and then make a left turn right here. And then turn left again right here and jump down through this little opening in the uh, cave wall right there into this waterfall. Continue straight ahead and on your left, you should see a little camp. In this camp, we have two more boxes that we can pick up. One is right here inside of this little tent situation. So we go ahead and direct with that one. And the other one is underneath a fern hiding over here. So pick that box up right there. Two more boxes, all in quick succession. The next box we're gonna need to get to is located down over here. So we can jump back on our horse and head on over in this direction. And it's located on top of that little island in the middle right here that we can see. So you can see the waypoints up there. We gotta get up to the top, so follow the path over here up. And then again, this is probably one where you're gonna need a class that can fly or a horse that can fly to be able to make it up on top of this little mountain thing over here. But when you do ultimately find a way to get up on top of it, you could also do some like jumping across tree thing to tree thing and, and make it over here. Uh, you will see another one of these chests sitting up on top of that. And then the last chest from here is located down in this general direction. So if we just place a waypoint and jump on down, if you head in this direction and head over to the right through this cave, you should see some like statuey looking things. And the box itself is gonna be located up over here behind this little cave that's in this area here. And if you jump on down into it, you will see that there's another chest hiding down in the darkness where you can't see it. And then you gotta climb your way back out. And with that, you'll have completed the northern portion of the Dokubi Forest. So now we can move into the southern central region of the map. So this whole area right here is what we're gonna cover next. And we're gonna start off by heading towards that bridge that we cleared a long time ago. So back over here is where we're headed right now. All right, so you can see where we are on the map here. Again, this little triangle section, the bridge is behind us. 
Um, we have this beach down into the right. We are going to go down towards the beach and down towards the right all the way at the end of this road. You're going to see a little shack and inside of this shack, if you walk on in here, you will see one of the chests sitting on top of this pile of lumber here. Let's go ahead and interact with that. Now for the next one, we're going to continue along the beach and just keep heading on down this way. And as we continue to head a little bit farther, we're going to see a cave to the left and inside of the cave over here to the left. You'll see a little altar looking situation and behind this altar looking situation you will see a chest sitting on the floor right here so there's another one for the next one we need to get up on top up where the current event is going on for the summer summer water event here so we're going to need to go up and around this little spiral here so i'll meet you on up there and up here on this upper little like peninsula thing looking out over the water here you will see a chest hanging out on the blocks right here so there's another one the next one's pretty easy. We got this little tiny village over here. It's going to be the first building inside of that tiny village. So we'll head over there. And in front of this building, you'll see a bunch of stuff laid out. And in amongst the things that are laid out, you will see a chest hanging out in the dirt over here. So go ahead and pick that one up. Now from here, the next three boxes are all going to be located around this little institute location. So let's head over to the middle of that right now. So I'm standing roughly in the center of this region. If you take a little U-turn right away and climb up this little staircase right here, Directly in the middle, you'll see the first of the three little chests that are in this area. For the next one, we need to make it all the way up at the top over here. So just follow the little pathing around where it takes you. We're going all the way up to the top of this. You can see the little tower right ahead. And when you get all the way to the top, you're going to turn around and head back down a little bit, one level of stairs. And over here, you'll see a bunch of people over here protecting the box. So just sneak up to it and take it. Just kidding. They don't care. From here, we want to continue heading all the rest of the way up and then go ahead and climb up these rocks over here in front of you and just keep making your way further and further up over this way and when you get all the way up here you're gonna see a waterfall down in front of you so if we go over to the waterfall and jump on down here and then jump down into the middle of the waterfall if you're standing on this rock in the middle of the waterfall you should be able to look over the edge and see that there's a box right there so you just need to carefully fall down the ledge without jumping too far to land on the box and pick up the third and final box in this region. From here, we can get back on our horse and we wanna head over to this next little location where the road splits right in here. And when you get to the split in the road, you'll see that there's all these different ways you can go. You see that there's one path up here on the mini map. Well, we're gonna head on into this split over here, which will take us into a cave. And as we continue to progress through the cave, we are going to come to a split in the cave. At the split in the cave, we want to go to the left. So go ahead and head over to the left side of this cave and then continue to follow it down and around all the way down. You're gonna to come to another split and at this split, we wanna go right and continue to head further down into the cave. And when we get here, we'll see a puddle of water in the middle. And I don't even know how you're supposed to be able to see this one without using a firefly, but you can see it right there. I've got a little cursor spinning around it. It's under the water right here. So that's where the other chest is. It's down on this little rock of islands in the middle of this little piling water pool here. For the next one, we need to actually end up on top of this mountain. So we're at the very bottom now. Now we gotta make our way up to the top. So just place a waypoint up and make our way all the way up to the top of the mountain that we're currently on. And when you roughly get at this point on the map, you'll see the little like three-way branch there. You uh, wanna take a left and head up to the cliffs of the mountain. And when you get up here, we're gonna waddle slowly off in this direction and keep making our way up. And we're trying to get up towards the highest point that we can reach up here to ultimately find this stupid box pinned up up here and my horse just got eaten by the mountain incredible um but yeah the box is sitting up here so this is the highest peak highest point on the mountain and it's sitting right here like just underneath that highest point so again tallest point you can find on this mountain it's right here on the ground right next to it now for the next one we have a bit of a ride we're going to head over to the going plateau over here so make your way over there you can see the waypoint dropped way out over in the distance that way so at the node manager here at the Goan Plateau, the first box we're gonna pick up is actually right here, right next to the node manager at this little hut right here on the ground. So pick that one up. All right, so from the node, we are going to head over here and continue making our way up the path. You can see on my mini map that I'm just following my way up. We're just working our way up into the plateau itself. And we ultimately wanna end up further to the north section here where you see that kind of like triangle shape all the way at one of these ends here. You're gonna see some burned down little huts. And inside of this hut right here, you will see the cave chest so we'll go ahead and pick that one up from here we're going to continue on the road uh, that's placed up here on the mini map so continue along the same road here and work our way further up into the plateau area as we make our way out here you should see way out in the distance a couple of little pagoda looking things so go ahead and uh, walk up to one of these 
And on the ground right here, you should see another one of the chests, another kickabilly chest right there. So now from this chest down here, we're gonna take a right and walk roughly in this direction, just follow the same general pathing that I'm taking right here. And you should see the next chest right there on the ground. So just go ahead and uh, pick that one up. Now from here, our next chest is actually gonna be back down at the village that we started at. So we will uh, drop on down right here. Now from the node manager here again, we're going to head over this fence, heading to the south. You can use my mini map up there in the top right to see where I'm heading, generally heading in this direction. And what we're working out towards is seeing that statue right there on the ground. And from that statue on the ground, we can actually see the next chest way down there, my crosshair centered on it. So we can just jump our way down the cliff faces here until we reach the box sitting right here. Now for the next one, we're gonna need to continue jumping down. So you could just fall down or you could take your Pegasus down if you want. And when you get down here, you're gonna see a like little structure, guard structure directly in front of you. Make your way out to this guard structure right here. And underneath the guard structure, you're gonna see the next chest. For the next one, we need to end up roughly over here on the mini map. So you can see you got this little pond, this little bridge right here. We need to make our way roughly to that general area. You can continue to fall down the cliffs if you want to get there. Ultimately, we want to end up all the way at the bottom though. And when you get down to the bottom down here, you're going to see a couple of different cave entrances that you can go into. I don't think it really matters because I think they all connect, but what you want to do is enter it and then head towards the right. As you make your way into the right here, you should see the box sitting up on a ledge right here. Um, so yeah, any one of these different entrances into the cave will find it for you. But ultimately, you want to end up and find the box on the ledge that's sitting right here. And then again, there is roughly on the minimap where I am located to have uh, found this one. Now the next box is located at Dry Branch Village, so we'll just make our way up to that. And if we start at the general goods vendor Doyoung and head up here, you will see a little like chicken coop sort of situation going on up here. And behind the chicken coop situation, you will see the next chest that we need to pick up. From here, we have a bit of a rip to these two islands out in the distance, so let's make our way out there. Now on this island in the distance, you can see that there's a little statue temple sort of situation going on up there. That's where we ultimately need to end up, so I'm going to use a Pegasus to fly over to the island. But uh, if you don't have one, or if you're not playing like a lawn or something that can fly, you are probably going to have to go ahead and uh, swim over, so that's rough. But if you make your way up to the top of the island, ultimately when you get up to this little statuey situation here, you should see a chest sitting right on the ground. And then from here, hopefully again you have a class that can fly, otherwise you're going to be doing some swimming. Because the next island we need to go to is over here, and we want to end up on the northern side of that because we need to go into a cave that's located on the northern side. So jump on your favorite flying horse or do your swimming thing that you gotta do or however you're gonna make it. Oh, please jump. Uh, but when you get back onto the island, uh, make your way to the northern side and on the north side, you will see a little bit of a cave that you can enter in right here along the ledge. So you got these little rock pit here, can enter on into the cave. And right here, you will see the next chest. So from this island, we're gonna head up to this area right here where you see this little horse stable keeper. It's this tiny little village right here is where we're headed to next. All right, so I'm at the stable keeper here. What we want to do from the stable keeper is kind of make our way to this ledge right here and kind of just, uh, you know, find our way down it. So we're kind of trying to make our way down the edge of this cliff for like this little swoop de doo in the road here. And at the little swoop de doo you'll see a cave right here. And inside of the cave, you'll see a fox statue. And at the fox statue, you'll see the next chest. Interact with that one. Next chest that we're going to pick up is actually right at the Yuwu Pass node. So we can head right up back into that jump on our horse and auto path over there. And at the fox statue for this node, if you head over to the left side of it, you will see another chest. The next chest that we're gonna be going for is located on the island that is just off to the side over here. And this will be the last one we're gonna get in this section because this will have completed a good portion of the map. So we'll head over to that. On this island, you'll have a little structure. Inside of the little structure, I guess to the side of the little structure rather, you will see the final chest in this region that we are gonna do here. So this was a pretty massive swoop. We basically took everything south of the river here. So we, we cut the map in half to this river and got everything in this southern section. So that was 22 total chests. Now we're gonna work through Nopse's Bio County as well as Dalbal Village. So this mid section of the map that we haven't done yet. And the first one that we need to hit is gonna be located right over here by this little Mr. Turt NPC. And if you're looking at Mr. Turt, if you look to the left, you'll see the box hanging out right underneath this little hut right here. So go ahead and interact with that. Pick that one up. The next one's gonna be located by the NPC Miss Mio, right here just above Mr. Turt, so we can uh, head on up to them. Why is everything I do make my life harder? And if you're looking at Miss Mio, if you look to the right side of Miss Mio, inside of her little tree farm over here, you'll see another chest hanging out right underneath the ground, right over here by Miss Mio. 
Now you don't have to go very far for the next one. It's located between Miss Mio's house and her neighbor right over here. Um, if you just head right over here into the fields of flowers and look around, you should see another one of the boxes just sitting in the flowers right here. So that's pretty stupid. And then if you look right over here, directly across from that, you'll see a building. So pointed on the map right there, right over here. If you head into this building area right here, inside of this area, you're going to see another box just sitting right here. Rapid fire going through these now. For the next one, we're going to keep heading to the north to hit this rampart up here. So you want to head up to the top of this little wall in this area here. Let's make your way there. And to get to it, you're probably going to have to climb up the mountain to the side here and then jump over in the top and into it. But there's another chest right there. The next chest is just below the node marker for this area, so right below the Nope Saves Beot County location. And right here you'll see a little pond hanging out, and if you climb on top of the rocks right here next to the pond, you will see the next chest hanging out right here. Just interact with that. For the next one, we're going to see this little path right here. Click to the end of that, and we'll just continue to follow it along. When you get to the end of the path, if you turn to the right, you should see a cave entrance over here. So you continue on into the cave entrance, and you will see the chest right here. And then the next one, if you come out of the cave, you should see a couple of kids over here, like, waving. The next chest is actually right there. You can kind of barely see it. If I highlight it with my cursor, you can see it actually gets marked by the cursor. So to get to that one, we're going to do some careful jumping along the ledge here to hopefully not fall down and off the river. And uh, just keep jumping our way across, make our way over here to the right, head up this ledge right here. And there's the next chest right there on the ground. We can pick it up right there. Now the next one we're going to head to is going to be north of Dalball Village. It's this kind of little region here where you can see the path goes all squiggly. We're heading to right there next. And if you're standing at the intersection facing the stairs, what you're going to need to do is turn to your left, head over this way, and around the corner you're going to see a little ledge that you can walk down. From here you can run on into this cave and pick up another chest. For the next chest we need to make our way up on top of the mountain across the city of Dalball Village. So we're going to head over to this peak over on the other side of the mountain. All right, so when you get up on top of this mountain, you're not going to have a ton of waypoints to go off of. The easiest one is going to be this weird looking tree that's sitting next to a village. So we got this tree sitting next to a village. What you're going to want to do is line up your character so that it's facing Dalball Village um, out in the distance here. So you get your little waypoint thing saying I'm facing generally towards Dalball Village. That's good enough. Start walking forward and you're going to see like a cliff rock face looking thing sitting in front of you over here, right? At this cliff rock facing thing, you'll see a big tree right here in front of you. And in front of that tree is the first chest in this area, so we can go ahead and pick that one up. Then if we back around and head up this little rock face here and climb up it, keep working your way up, eventually you should hopefully come to a spot where you see the next chest right here. So there's two of them right there at that location. Now for our final chest, we're going to want to head over to this little area right here. You can head over to the building located just to the uh, east of Dalball Village. And from this building, we want to slowly work our way, falling down the waterfall, staying to the left side of the waterfall. So just slowly drop down ledges here, a little bit at a time, and eventually you should see the chest sitting right there. And with that, we've gotten all of the chests sitting between these two rivers. That just leaves us the northern section of the map left to go. All right, so the first one in this northern region is going to be located near the NPC Hunting Gumby, which is the sniper rifle hunting NPC, or you can just go near the Wild Game Preserve to find this one. From this NPC, you're going to turn around and work your way up the side of the uh, mountain right here. And you want to work your way up on top of this little cliff structure. So this left cliff structure here. And eventually, when you get to the top of it, you will be rewarded with the next chest. Now for the next one, we are going to be looking to head up to this kind of peak here on top of the, uh, the mountain here. So you can see that there's like this ledge sort of situation going here. So traveling from the hunting zone, we want to head to the top of that little mountain there. And when you get to this little shrine sort of situation, climb up the side of it here, jump straight across and work your way over to the top, run down the middle over here, and then hug this wall and you will not see a chest hanging out underneath a little ledge here. So that's another one. From here, we're gonna cheat and use the black shrine and select the Sangoon boss and use the pathing symbol here to find our way to get to that boss. It's basically just gonna take us down off the cliff right here though. So if you have a horse that can fly or if you're like a lawn or something, well, you can just jump off the ledge here. And when you get to the entrance of the cave, just head straight on in and just basically keep following the waypoint all the way over to the boss fight. When you get in here, look to your right, and you will see a little pillar situation hanging out over here in the distance. We're going to go over to this pillar right here, make our way out to it, climb up to the top of it, and we should see a box hiding again in the shadows right here. Pretty tough to see. There's a third box. 
So from here, continue making our way through the cave and just kind of just basically exit the cave out here to this side and we'll come out the cave over here. Once you get out, head on out the, uh, the northern direction here. And when you get to this bridge, don't cross the bridge. We're gonna make a right turn, so see where I'm on the mini map here. Head out in this direction a decent amount-ish and be looking to your right. You're looking for another cave entrance over here, which you can see right here. So we'll head on into this cave entrance. And in here on top of the blocks over on the left side, you'll be able to find another chest. From here, we're gonna turn around 180 degrees and head over to the north where we can see this sort of like bend right here in the uh, road. We're gonna head over this way. Just gotta cross the river real quick. And over here, you should see another cave. And in this cave, walk on down to it, you'll see a fifth chest. Now from here, we're gonna head over to the boss Sangakshi. So we can go ahead and place a waypoint on the map there and kind of just run it down and head in that direction. And the first one here is pretty easy to find. It's actually right when you first arrive in the area, right near this little altar situation. The second one is at the top of this mountain up there. You can actually kind of see it spawning in right around there. The draw distance is showing it right at the tip up there. Easiest way to get up there is gonna be climb over this right side here, head on up this little ramp that it's already made for you, and then do some jumping to make your way over into this direction. Then just keep working your way around the front side of the mountain hopefully making this jump. And then from here, it's pretty straightforward. And that will be your second box. The next location we're gonna head to is where the road does some little, little dip de doo right here. So we're looking to head just to the north up here, looking for that little bump right there in the road. And at this little bump in the road, you should see a cave over to your left. And inside of this cave over here on the left, you will see a chest sitting right there waiting for you to pick it up heading back out of this cave, getting back on your horse. We wanna to head to the other side of the mountain. So over here on your mini map, you should see the road start to pop in in a second as you work your way around the corner here. But you can see the road coming in right now and you're gonna be taking this bend around where the road bends to the right here. You should look up into the right and you should see a cave entrance up ahead. And here's the entrance right here. And inside of this cave, you will see another one of these boxes that you can pick up right here on the ground. Now from here, we need to work our way towards the top of this little water feature right here. So place a waypoint and start making your way over there. Again, over to the left side by this waterfall situation. So we're at the top of this waterfall. You got this little wooden bridge behind you. What we want to do is actually drop down a level all the way down to here. And then over this ledge right here, you should see a chest. And if you can't see the chest, it's because, you know, the lighting's terrible. But if you slowly fall down this ledge, you will see a chest sitting right here on the ground. So pick that one up. And then from here, you can actually look out and see the next chest out in the distance. So we're just gonna have to do a jump and a swim action to get to the second chest in this region. And after you swim out to it, go ahead and interact with it to complete that one. Now our next one's gonna be situated up on top of this mountain. So to get there, you're gonna wanna make sure you come at it from this side of the road, um, sort of from the side of this general goods vendor. So make your way that way. And it's kind of just going to be chilling out here on this mountain ledge. So just giving you an idea of where your surroundings are, but just hanging out on the ledge. We got another one of these boxes. Now from here, we're going to head all the way up to the north to the northernmost point in the game up here. And you can kind of see the gateway out there where we're going to be going. So I'll meet you over there. So when you get here and see all the people hanging out, um, you're going to want to look up to the south side here. And you're going to see like a little channel that you can run up and just take your horse up pretty much as far as it's going to go. Because... Uh, I don't think there's any other way to do this, but just take it up as far as up it'll go and then hang a right at some point. And when you hang a right, you'll see a bunch of ledges and just slowly work your way down the ledges. You don't need a Pegasus to do this. You can just slowly work your way down. And ultimately you wanna get all the way back to the end over here because that chest is sitting right there on the ground. So you can see it there. I'm just gonna manually jump my character off the ledge so I don't overshoot it, but yeah. So there is the chest that we wanna hit in this spot. Now the next chest we're gonna be picking up is gonna be located near the NPC Ahong, which is right near the stable keeper of this little town area here. So go ahead and jump over to that. And this one's a lot easier than some of the ones we've been doing. It's just sitting behind the tent over here on the left side. So pretty easy to get to, just interact with it. Another one taken. Now for the next one, we're gonna to need to go into a cave which starts like right around here. So place a waypoint, again, looking at the road, see it's got a bunch of squigglies. Starts right about here. Actually, if you just click generally in this area over here, it'll waypoint the cave for you. But right here you can see the cave entrance and you're just gonna boogie all the way on down through this cave and then hang a left at some point. And you'll see this like structure hanging out in the side of it. 
and in the water around this structure, you again won't see a chest hanging out in the water because it's underwater and it's dark in the cave. But there's the next one. So again, you just boogie on through the cave and then make a left when the road forks because, well, I guess it's really the only way you can go. So <laughs> just uh, make your way down through the cave. Not too bad to find that one. So now from the cave that we just left, all we're going to do is go down the road a little bit here into this direction, and you'll see another little path that we can walk into, and you'll see another cave, and inside of this cave, we have another box hanging out right there, so interact with that one. And then for the next one, we need to get on top of the mountain above that cave that we just left, so there's a little path that you can kind of sneak up to this side over here, and then from here can do a little bit of uh, parkour climbing action. And eventually, after you make your way all the way to the top, you will find the next box. So again, you basically gotta get all the way up to the top of this mountain as far up as you can get. And here it is on the mini-map. Again, I ran up this channel and kind of just parkoured my way through, like, rocks and stuff to get up here. And from here we have one more bit of knowledge to get, which is down here, right at this little bend in the road. So, get on your Pegasus, because that's what you've been using, right? Now from the bottom of this little U-bend, you should see, like, a little, like, pathway that runs up here follow this pathway around, work your way up and through here, and you'll see another cave, run on inside of the cave, and hidden in the dark, right ahead, you will see the final chest that we need to interact with here, which will officially complete all of the chapters of this book. So go to the Adventure tab, Adventure Log Bookshelf, go to the Eyes of the Adventurer, book number five, and you should be able to just run it down the line and claim every single one of these rewards thus unlocking book six and completing that portion. Now, if you didn't complete all of these, you can press the H key on the keyboard to open up the knowledge section and go to the adventure journal section, scroll on down to the morning light tales section, and you will see the five books right here. So all five of these books, if you are missing something on one of those books, it won't be saying that it's obtained and you can see which one of the ones that you are missing is. From there, you can do a little troubleshooting with Google to figure out what the exact book you need is and where that one is. But with that, guys, that's going to do it. This video took me forever to make. I've been editing this right along, and I'm in at least two hours of footage that I've had to cut down through, so it's definitely going to take a while. I do hope that you found this video useful. Again, use the chapters to jump around, and again, continue to follow the guide that I have on the channel as I put it up to progress through this adventure log journal. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support. Again, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you at the next YouTube video, Twitch livestream, or wherever I happen to see you. Thanks.